Hey guys, it's Mr. Hewitt, and I'm going to tell you guys about the cues or things to remember when juggling at home. Now I'm going to divide the cues into slow and fast objects. When I say slow objects, that would be things like plastic garbage bags or bags you get from a grocery store. Those cues are your palms that are going to face down. So when I throw, my palms are down, and then when I catch, my palms are down. Eyes, so you want to have your eyes watching the object as it goes up in the air and then as you're catching it. When you throw, you want to try, try to throw high and that means to throw over your head. When you catch, it says catch medium, that means to catch it below your shoulders but, but not too low. So let's try to catch from shoulders to our waist. Then when we go to faster objects, that would be things like maybe socks rolled up or I even found some, some plastic eggs around my house. The big difference with fast objects you're going to see is the first cue, which are palms again. Now before palms are down, for fast objects, palms are going to face up. So when I throw, my palms are up, and then when I catch, my palms should still be up. I still want to have my eyes watching the object as it goes up, and then as I catch it. I still want to throw over my head, and I still want to try to catch from my shoulders to my waist. Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Hewitt and I'm going to show you guys how to juggle one object. Now remember, before you even get started, you may just want to practice throwing and catching it just to get comfortable with it. So when I'm using a bag or a slower object, remember your palms are going to face down. So I practice throwing over my head, catching below my shoulders. Over my head, below my shoulders, my palms down. I'm even going to try with my other hand. After you get comfortable, you're then going to get into what's called the, the A pattern. In the A pattern, your words are throw and catch. When you throw, you're going to start with whichever hand you want. Your goal is to get your throw to make a letter A to go up and across and then catch the other hand. So watch. I'm going to throw up and across, catch with my opposite hand. Throw up and across, catch with my opposite hand. And this is the A pattern. Now, I'm going to switch over to my faster object. My palms are now going to be up. So remember, I'm still going to practice, get comfortable, palm up, throw it over my head, by my stomach, over my head, by my stomach. Now, from here, I'm going to go throw up and across, catch the opposite hand. Up and across, catch. And that is juggling with one object. Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Hewitt, and I'm going to show you how to juggle two objects. Now remember, your goal is to get the objects to switch hands, but you have to only have one object in each hand, and you can only have one object in the air at a time. So the first pattern we're going to work on is called the triangle pattern. The triangle pattern has you throw one, has you hand the second one, and then catch the first one. I'm going to start with my bags, the slower object first. Now remember, palms are down. So I have my two different colored bags so I can see if they switch. I throw one, I hand it, I catch. I throw, I hand, I catch. Now if I go to my faster objects, I'm going to use my socks, again, two different colors. I'm going to turn my palms up. I'm going to throw, hand, catch, throw, hand, catch. Now the second pattern with two objects is going to be the X pattern. So you're going to have to do four different steps. If you notice, I put numbers next to them so you know which one to throw and which one to catch. So I throw, I then throw my second one, I catch my first one, I catch my second one. So watch how that's going to look with my bags. My palms are going to face down. I'm going to throw one up and across, make an X. Other one up and across, catch my first, catch my second. So I throw, throw, catch, catch. And they switch. Throw, throw, catch, catch and a switch. Big thing to remember is you cross your arms. All right, now with my socks, remember, my palms are up. Throw one, throw the second one, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Remember to try to have your second object go higher.
Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Hewitt, and I'm going to teach you guys how to juggle three objects. Alright, a few things to think about. When you start with three objects, you have to have two in one hand and one in the other hand. But then, that means you're going to start with the hand that has two because after you make your first throw, you can never have two objects in one hand again, okay? So if you think about it, once you make that first throw, you'll have one object in each hand and one up in the air at all times. So, the pattern. Chance. Second one, catch your first. Then you throw your third one, catch your second. And then it says repeat, throw, and catch until you make a mistake. So it's going to be throw, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. And when you make a mistake, that means you dropped it. So I'm going to show you how it looks with bags. I'm going to try to use three different colors. That way I can see that they're switching. The hand I want to use first, I'll put one of the bags in the front, I pinch it and the other bag towards the back near my pinky. In my other hand, I can hold the bag any way I want. So I'm gonna throw one, throw, catch the first, throw the third. Here we go. Throw, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch, throw, catch. Oop, and I made a mistake, so I stopped. Now with socks, still have two in one hand, one in the other hand. Again, I'm gonna have the one in front, the second one behind it, and then the other one by itself. Throw, throw, catch, throw, catch. Ooh, made a mistake. Let me try it again. Throw, throw, catch, 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 throw, catch. And that is juggling with three.